Hi everyone, welcome to Get Ready With Me, Louise. I'm really shiny today. I, I don't know quite what's going on there, but that is what it is, although the highlighter is pretty good. So today we're going to be playing again with the Laura Lee and Manny collab. I wanted to do a second opinion on it and use, the last time I used sort of like, I guess the more colorful, I mean it's not really colorful, but you know what I mean. Um, the more colorful one and this time I'm using the more neutral look except I do not know where I put the palettes now like where did I just sit them palettes because they're both just oh there they are <laughs> I swear I'd lose my head if it wasn't connected to my shoulders I promise you I would so today I did use the palette again and I use this as the bronzer. This has a red, like, undertone to it. You can't really, I mean, you can kind of see it, but not really. But it's almost like it's a natural tan, if I was the tan outside. So I really do like that. And then today I used the peach blush. And I don't mind it. It's like an orangey, peachy color. But... It didn't, like, it, it still looks nice. Let, let me just say that. Usually I'm more for these two up here, the pinkies. But I don't mind the peach in this palette at all. And then the highlighter I used, again, is this one because this one's just too dark for me. Although I do think this would be nice on the lid. Um, and I also will use this highlighter in my inner corner. Because in the palette, there's really not that many light options um, for an inner corner. That was nice. Stuck my finger right in that. That's lovely. Hold on. I just made a mess. Alright. There's not that many options for, like, for me for inner corner. There's this, a matte cream, but that's skin tone almost. I mean, it, it really, you can't even see it. And then the only other one would be, like, this pinky one. But I used that in the last look, so I didn't really want to, I didn't really want to touch this side because I used it in the last look. So I really did stick to this side. And... I don't mind it. I will say that I definitely prefer this side over this side, but I would still use it, especially considering today. Let's get started. The first shape we're going to go into is Not My Vibe, which is this one right here. Yeah, that's what I went to. I was like, is that what I went to? But yes, that is. Um, Today, like, I, it, I was super quick. Like, we're, like, in a rush. Like, let's go, right? And I will say that this collection is pretty good for that, to be honest. Like, the formula's good to where, like, you don't have to worry about it not working. Like, you know you're going to get a, a good look out of it. And it was easy to use, and I like that about it. And overall, I just... I didn't have to grab for a lot of things, you know what I mean? Because it's all in these two palettes so to say because of the way I did it so I had my bronzer and my blush right there and then the palette itself is doing the rest and granted it's not like my favorite look by no means but it still works this this look still works you know so it works for me and like I said it's super duper quick now we're going to go into the shade What's Going On, and we're going to darken up the outer corner here. And again, like, this look didn't take me long at all to throw together. And it just works so well. I primed my eyes today with my Hourglass Primer. And it works with the shadow, so, you don't know, I didn't expect it wouldn't. Usually I do use my MAC, but, like I said, I've been in a hurry trying to uh, get things done and up. And I do believe that once this collection is sold out, it's sold out. And I have had some other thoughts, like... Let's go into this shade. We're going to go into this shade, Your Fave. 
which is right here, and we're going to put that all over the lid. If, I don't want to say if I was to do it again, because I, I wouldn't change what I did, but if you're on a budget, just stick to the palette, and then maybe the blush and the blush palette, the face palette. You don't need the brushes. You don't need the lipsticks, to be honest. Um, if those are your colors to begin with, you've already got them in your collection. You know what I mean? And the brushes are okay. I'm not a fan of some of them. I'm a, I'm a fan of some of them. You know, it's like half and half, really. I don't like double-ended brushes at all, so that brush was out for me. I didn't really like the big fluffy blush brush. Um, I did like the bronzer brush. I did like the um, bare eye slash highlighter brush for highlighter. Um, but I would skip it. I really would. There's no need to spend your money. You you don't need it. I mean, if you wanted it, great. If you But if you're really like, what should I get? The eyeshadow palette and the... Um, blush is where I would go and I would definitely go with the eyeshadow palette because chances are the blush you probably even have those to be honest if I you know just just saying and you may even have the eyeshadow but you know if you're wanting something out of the collection that you're going to get a lot of use out of you know whatever one suits you better is one I choose if you don't really go for eyeshadow much or you're one and done then maybe go for the blush. But if you do like eyeshadow, I would go for the eyeshadow palette personally. We're going to take the shade What's Going On, the same shade I used on my outer corner, and we're just going to uh, put it on the lower lash line. I used my Tarte Fake Awake in my waterline. And I do like this palette as far as like the way it is set up, it will give you a quick look. In no time, there's not much thought you have to put into it, really. I I don't think. And, of course, I'm not a makeup artist, so things that are easily for me to see, I, I prefer to go into, you know, especially in a hurry. So. And I didn't wear the lipsticks today because, again, like I said, I'm in a hurry, so I just threw on the, um, what's it called? Bronze Glow by, uh, what is that? Makeup by Mario. See, it's been a long day. And it hasn't even really begun yet, so there you go. We're still in the early morning hours. And that tells you something there, that I'm going to have my makeup done before morning. That's craziness. Now we're going to go into the blush palette right here. And I'm going to take this one right there, pick it up a little bit, and just smack it in the inner corner, and we're done. I mean, again, I was going to put that pink all over my lid. I really was, because you know how I am. But I wanted to do something different, so I did. This is not a look that I necessarily gravitate to. But I still think it's gorgeous. I really do. I think it's a gorgeous color story. Nonetheless. I mean, I'm sure I could use a little blending and a little more time spent on it. But at the same time, like, when you gotta go, you gotta go. For mascara, I'm gonna use the Marc Jacobs. I don't even know what this is. I found this in the drawer, y'all. Velvet Noir major volume mascara it was still sealed so I, I don't even know but we're gonna put that on the la top lashes I actually kind of like it to be honest it really did something for my lashes over there to be honest with you and I hate that I should have opened it to be honest because I'm you can't get it no more so it's like if it's good you're kind of screwed but at least it's just a mini but I do like it not as I don't know if I like it as much as my lash clash though that's you know but that's my favorite and my Gucci
and here's the, the other thing. You know, I just got done uh, doing the Busy Art review. And I do think those are meant to be quick eyeshadow looks. But I'll be honest. Like, I had to do a quick look today, and I grabbed for a bigger palette. Now, granted, I knew I was going to film with it, but I also wanted to film with it. I did not want to film with the Busy Art palettes. So that tells me right there that I'm not going to use them and that they're not worth you spending your money on. And it's not because of bad quality. It's just they're silly. It's not a need, it'd be a want. And to, quick, to do quick looks, you can do that with anything, you know? You can do that with a ColourPop shadow, for that matter. Do you see my lashes, though? I mean, they are looking really good with this mascara. And that just sucks. <laughs> Alright, that's what made me so mad. For bottom lashes, we're going to use the Lancome Def and Seals. But yeah, I don't, I really don't have anything negative to say about this collection. If you wanted to purchase the whole collection, go for it. You you won't be disappointed. You know, you're getting your money worth no matter how you look at it. But if you're on a budget or you're just not sure, I would say the eyeshadow palette and the blush palette is the winners here. You know, personally. I do like the lipstick, the lighter, pinkier one, because that's more what I gravitate to. But it's also something that's not a need that Bill want. But overall, I mean, I think it looks good. Like seriously, this didn't take me that long. I was like boom, 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 you know? So I would say probably the whole face, 30 minutes it took me. So that's not bad. Of course, I'm talking for this eye, but you, you get my drift. But I like the way the eye they look came out. I like my cheeks. I think everything looks very nice. So let me know. Did you get it? Have you got it? Have you tried it yet? Are you still waiting on it? What's your thoughts on it? I'm curious. Because so far, I think, I think I like this collection. I think they did a really good job. I can't, can't think of anything negative really to say. I mean, it's a basic palette, but... I can kind of, I kind of expected that to be honest. So, but that's all I have for you today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, ring the bell, hit all. That way you're going to find when I upload. I do upload every day, but Sunday, and I think that this is the last new palette that I had to review. So I think we're going back to guess that palette. I think. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure we are. We're going back to guess that palette. And, you know, you could win a palette or some brushes. I'm not for sure on the, um, I know anything that's old, like that's outdated, I'm not going to give away. I don't really know what to do with those palettes, to be honest. Because they still perform, it's just they're outdated, though. So I'm not really for sure. Like, and my friends, well... I don't have friends that like makeup, so, but I'll figure it out on that one, but the ones that aren't outdated that maybe I just used to swatch or maybe I just used once or some of them I haven't even used at all. If y'all are interested in winning those, you know, I can do that, but let me know. All right, that's all I have. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care. Uh, stay safe and stay healthy. Bye.